today we have a bunch of like mystery boxes I received from a few different brands so I wanted to share with you guys the goodies that I got gifted this holiday season this first box is absolutely massive it just oh my gosh this thing is huge I want to give a huge thank you to Puma for sending over this like $1,000 value care package here is the note this is the Puma and Rugi collaboration it says New York worldwide this is Puma x Rugi New York Worldwide. In this collection, Rugi reinterprets Puma's classics in a tribute to New York City, which has shaped youth culture like no other. This drop is inspired by the most elite element of New York culture, Summers in the Hamptons. Classic streetwear pieces are transformed with houndstone prints, vintage shoes, and retro-inspired NYC branding for a look that's ready for the streets, the courts, and the country club. Available now at Sneakerbox, Essence, and Dipped Van City. So I was sent this stuff a couple of weeks ago, and I've actually been wearing it a bunch, not in videos because I haven't been posting, but I've just been wearing it a bunch and it suits my style really, really well. And they sent a range of items from like bags to hoodies to t-shirts to like a vest. So let's just get into this stuff because there's a lot to get into. First up, we have this duffel bag right here and it is a smaller size duffel bag. But I want to say this is like the perfect size for me for traveling and uh, it fits pretty much all of my like volleyball gear and then some into one nice convenient duffel bag. The colorway on this is something that's like super suited for fall I want to say. And uh, yeah, this is like one of those bags that would fit perfectly for like a weekend trip. Nothing too crazy. You have to have one pair of shoes though. You're not going to be able to stuff too many shoes in here. This bag retailed for $185. That's the retail price. Now if you don't know, I'm actually a big fan of Rude and Rugi in general. They did a collaboration in the past with Puma and uh, it was on these right here. These glorious, glorious shoes. And I've gotten to wear these a whole bunch. And as a, you know, Filipino Canadian, it's really cool to see other Filipinos out there thriving and doing well. So I love supporting fellow Filipinos. But yeah, I wear these Pumas all the time. So I'm definitely going to really appreciate all the other stuff that they include in this uh, in this mystery box. There's a bunch of zippers and compartments on this bag. So let me just show you guys. You can access the side pocket right there. Nothing too crazy. Access to the other side right here. So you can just store more stuff. And then down the middle, kind of reminds me of like those pencil cases you would have in uh, in like high school and whatnot. Like that double, that double thing right there. And voila, a lot of space. So it might look deceivingly small, but actually there's a lot of storage in here. And uh, I'll probably just start bringing this with me to the gym and to volleyball a lot, like a lot more frequently. So uh, this will replace my old stinky gym bag that I've been using. All the zippers are really nice too. They got this Puma branding right there and you flip it around, you get some more. And this like colorway, I'm just gonna call it for a lack of better words that you guys see on this bag is kind of basically like the aesthetic, the colorway, the theme for the rest of the items from this mystery box. So let me show you guys exactly what I mean. So here's the bag right here. Here is the hoodie, it is this like blue it's sort of, sort of like a, a slate blue and then you have this uh this i want to call it like khaki it's hard to even get the, what's is there is there an actual name here inky blue this is a size small so typically i wear a size medium and the retail for this one is 215 canadian dollars and it is very thick it is very very thick so it's going to be something i'll wear during the fall winter months right now so here's a look at the Hoodie on the wrist right here. You got some nice little details with the Puma and Rugi. I like the way that this gold like really glistens on top of that green. The other wrist has no other design there. You also have these little metal aglets right here for I, my face is gonna be in focus, but we got these little aglets right here too for the lace tips or drawstrings, I should say, because they're not lace tips. They also included a vest. Now the vest is probably my favorite thing from the collection. So let's get to the vest. And the vest you can just wear on top of like anything, like a regular shirt or just a basic hoodie, any kind of hoodie. Here is the vest. Oh, this vest is so sick. This thing is so sick. So it has that deep, dark, like navy blue on the inside, but that front, that they're like just the all over, all over is this pattern right here. It's this very neutral kind of color palette on this pattern. So it is very, very versatile. You can wear it with pretty much anything. The, uh, the navy blue here is also really nice, deep. You got black double stitching, like extra stitching going on there. On the chest right here, it says, the world is yours. And you flip the vest around and it has that big NYC 
logo design right here. And it is super, super thick. They have like a lot of like down feathers or whatever in here. So this thing will keep you warm. You don't have to wear a jacket all the time, which is kind of nice. You can just wear a hoodie and this will really do a lot of the, uh, the heavy lifting in terms of keeping you warm. Down the middle of the vest too, you have both zipper and buttons. And the zipper is YKK, which is what you like to see out of these higher end items. Also on the very back, you have more Rugi Puma branding. I believe this is the most expensive piece from the Rugi and Puma collaboration for the season. I think it was like either 400 or 500 Canadian dollars. So huge thank you to Puma for sending this over. This thing is so, so sick. I've been getting a lot of use out of it. As you can tell, it just fits perfectly on me. This is a size medium, throw on a hoodie as well for that extra cozy uh, fall winter vibe. And then you also have the hoodie, like the hoodie fits this the, the vest perfectly because you're gonna have like that logo, that bold, like that logo design in the middle and you can just boom, even my Kev M shirt, just mm. This, it just, it's so, ah, I love it, I love it. Here's what it looks like when you combine the hoodie and the vest together. And I gotta say, it just looks really, really dope. I'm a huge fan of this look. Next up, let's get to a t-shirt that they included from this collaboration. Ooh. Ooh, I like this, I like this. It's all embroidered, it's not like a screen print. Actually, well, the middle part here, like that very middle part is a screen printed portion, but the rest, the New York, like everything where you see this, this is all like embroidered into the shirt. And it also has that tag on the back as well, that green and gold combo. I'm guessing that Rugi really likes green because green is also on these Pumas as well right here. So it is just gonna look clean. Like if I were to put all this together, that's definitely a look right there. Special box for it. It almost looks like a gift wrapping. Like this is something you'd see like under the Christmas tree. Look how nice and premium this looks. It's this, oh, the gold, that golden, mm, that golden shine hits perfectly. It's kind of like this deep, dark gray and uh, cream color all over. So let's unbox these together. These are the Trinomic X2 Rugi collaboration. So pop the lid. That wrapping paper action right there. And voila. Ooh. Here is a up close look at the Puma X Rugi Trinomic XT2. These are actually very different. I, I don't have a lot of shoes in my collection that are like this kind of uh, kind of colorway. These definitely have more of a fall winter kind of vibe. You got this very hairy suede on the toe cap area of the shoe and that's that same suede that's seen on the uh, the lace area too, just going down the middle of the shoe. You got more hairy suede for the Puma logo on the side. Here is a look at the back as well. Definitely a unique pair. Of, like I have no other pairs of shoes like this in my collection. I actually think I have a pair of Puma X Monkey Time collabs. Uh, in my garage I haven't worn in a minute, but that's more of like a tan and black combo This is definitely more of like a, a grown like a grown man kind of a kind of running shoe right here This is like that kind of runner. That's just gonna complement the rest of your fit be very chill something relaxed and cozy Nice little touches on the insole too. You got some leather like these leather rectangles right down the middle can I actually take the insole out Oh, yeah, I can so I can take the insole out actually and it has like this leatherish kind of feeling material on the top and then and this like leather kind of looking patch right there that says Puma. There's your look at that. The color code they give this shoe is Sand Dune Gray Granola. So, uh, so yeah, let me throw these on for you guys, show you what they look like, and we'll get on to the next items. So this next pair comes in from the friends over at Vans, I believe because you know, Vans, off the wall box right there. So let's just pop this lid. This looks like a, uh, a sneaker boot and you guys know I'm a fan of sneaker boots. So let's see what Vans sent over. There's a little note here too. It says, stay warm this winter, your friends at Vans Canada. These are also available at Foot Locker as well. So let's put that to the side. And ooh, 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 these are, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, those are those are nice. These are clean. This is like this is like the perfect all black sneaker boot for uh for the winter. This is like perfect for Canada too. Like look at this. 
Look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at that outsole. Look at that thick midsole as well. It got Gore-Tex material on it too. You know these are going to be a heavy-duty boot for the uh, for the fall winter months here in Canada. I also like the way that the red pops on the tag. You got that Vans off the wall tag branding right there in the tongue. That typical little thing there too. And then on the back as well. These are sick. These are very clean, simple, minimalistic, other than the little pops of red right there. The Skate High Gore-Tex MTE3. These are definitely gonna see a lot of wear, especially when it gets super, super snowy in Canada. Like this boot goes up pretty high. It's, it's actually gonna be very, very practical to wear. So I also think I gain an inch of height. So now I can say I'm six feet tall during the winter. Definitely a nice, uh, nice bonus. I like to, I like to use every now and then. So uh, yeah, there's your look at the Van Skate High Gore-Tex MTE. They have like a rubberized kind of toe cap right here, and uh, you got this Gore-Tex material on the side, which is waterproof and highly, highly durable. I'm a big fan of Gore-Tex. Whenever people can, or whenever brands can throw on Gore-Tex onto a sneaker, I'm a big fan of it. Uh, because I love wearing my shoes and beating them up and that just means that the quality of life of the shoe, the lifespan of the shoe actually is going to last longer. MTE made for the elements right there. Yeah, these are sick. These are sick and it's like this cool kind of like a, it's like a gum bottom. Like not that brown brown that we're used to, it's like a dark brown. Thank you to, uh, to Vans Canada for sending these over. Before we get to the last sneakers I want to show you guys, I want to show you two personal pickups I recently acquired. The first one is very nerdy and very geeky so I can I can feel the, I can feel the judgment already just talking about it but Bruh. it is this right here a Pokemon playmat that says champion on it and uh, that's because I recently won a Pokemon League Cup tournament here in Toronto if you guys don't know the reason I've been gone from sneaker YouTube a big part of it is because I've been on Pokemon YouTube under the channel Sneaker Talk TCG and things have been popping off over there. So yeah, if you like Pokemon, if you like Pokemon cards or you're curious about it, want to see the competitive scene, then check out my Pokemon channel Sneaker Talk TCG. I've been putting a lot of my time and uh, money into that channel. So yeah, that's what I've been pretty much doing full time other than Sneaker YouTube because obviously I'm not very active on here these days. I won this for first place. I also won like $250 of prizing kind of stuff and then um, this you can also sell for about a hundred to hundred twenty dollars. So very very cool I'm keeping it though because it's a personal, you know personal W. It's like a trophy And then the next thing I want to show you guys is the fragrance I've been rocking for fall and winter This is gonna be like my fall winter scent I went on vacation in Mexico and I came across this scent in the uh, the duty-free shopping coming home It is uh, by Paco Rabanne uh, 1 million and not the typical 1 million. This is 1 million royal. So this is their newest version their, their newest iteration of uh, 1 million highly recommend it I think it's better than uh, the regular 1 million if you are trying to uh, you know get a lady in your life this fall season Paco Rabanne 1 million royal mm, so good so good I've been getting so many compliments on this scent let me just even even if I'm not going out this is a fragrance I love so much I just put it on for myself so I don't know what fragrances you guys are rocking with if you have any, let me know in the comments down below what your fall winter fragrance is for this season. But for me, it's Paco Rabanne 1 Million Royal. Let's get to the last pair of shoes. This is a collaboration between a YouTuber, one of my favorite YouTubers, my favorite tech YouTuber, and the brand Adams. So this is their second colorway of the MKBHD Adams 251, the all black colorway. Of course, it's all black. You know, MKBHD loves all black and that matte black kind of theme. So here is a look at them. The original colorway was like this black and red, a bread kind of colorway, but I believe you can't buy those anymore. They were like made for, uh, for like made to order kind of thing. So these right here are the black colorway. One thing that caught my eye right away when I saw this shoe was the, uh, the similar design to one of my older like favorite shoes that really got me into the sneaker game and shoes itself was the Supra Vader. If you guys are familiar with Supra, it's not really a, it's not a brand that's around anymore. I think they're like completely out of business. Uh, but I, I can definitely see some of the uh, the Supra Vader high top inspiration here. They're also surprisingly like lightweight. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to wear these. I'm a huge fan of MKBHD again. And uh, Adams actually sent these over to me as well. They were just tweeting up on Twitter and I saw the post and I was like, yo, those are sick. I love those. 
and then they reached out, they asked for my shipping address, and they sent them over. Thank you, Adams, for sending these over. I'm very, very excited to start wearing these. You have the sort of like, kind of like ballistic mesh all over the upper of the shoe. Here's a look at the toe cap and then the tongue. You got Marquez's signature right there with Adam's branding. You also have the sizing info there too. Here's a look at the inner side of the shoe. You got that NYC branding tag. And then of course you got more red on the inside here. So very clean, very simple. Definitely something I could turn into like a daily beater, which I probably will. I'm excited to see how comfortable these are. And uh, yeah, we'll get to the on feet portion right now to show you guys what these look like on feet. It was nice catching up with you guys today for this haul video. If you wanna see some more content, click on screen right here. Maybe check out a Japan or Philippines vlog or the video YouTube thinks you're gonna like the most. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.